Okay, Amazon, here is the update. Yes, I did tighten it down and uh, no leaks whatsoever, bone dry. And I did actually test it. If you've never used a bidet before, then the first time is like, it's like a fresh, cool shower. It's, it's like you're running through meadows with no pants on. And it's just cool and refreshing. The rain is, I, I could get very poetic here, but it's a very interesting experience. You do get wet. So yes, you will have to probably still use some toilet paper to make sure you're all dry and everything. And it may actually spray a little too because it comes out with quite a bit of force. Um, so you may have to sort of dry up the rim of, of the toilet lid um, with, with, you know, the, the water. But anyway, you get the idea. It's totally awesome though. I'm never going back to just dry, uncomfortable, scratchy toilet paper. <laughs> Hello there, Amazon.com. My name is Bo Shevisu. I review all sorts of fantastic things today. I am coming to you with this small but smart bidet. Yes, I am reviewing a bidet for you today. This is perhaps the coolest thing I've ever experienced on my little tush. Now, I'm not going to actually show you this thing in action for obvious reasons. Of course, I wouldn't publish my naked little self all over the internet, but I will show you basically how I set it up. So here is my nice clean toilet, um, all bleached and everything, so you don't have to be grossed out. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It's this little guy right there. Now what's so cool about this is that it's all compact, it's all in there. And now if I were to actually try to prop this up, now this is what it looks like. So I'm just gonna use this little waterproof book that, uh, that you know, it, in, in place of my little tush. And I'm gonna hold it right there. And then when we were to turn it on over here, you will see that, how cool is that? And then when you turn it off, it goes back in. So it's sort of this, uh, this switchblade action um, where the, the little guy comes out and then it sprays and then it goes back in and hides itself. And this is how I turned it off and on. So this little guy right back here. So rotate it this way, it turns on. Rotate it that way, it turns off. This is the inlet and then this is the outlet. The outlet goes all the way. You could follow the line and it goes to there. Now you may be wondering, wow, that's a, that's a lot of tubes right there. They give you extra tubing so that um, if in fact the inlet is really far away and you need to reach it, uh, you can cut this if you'd like and make it smaller or get some zip ties, which I'll be doing later, and tie it all together. So this is what it looks like up close. You will see my little purple bucket just in case there is a leak. I haven't had anything quite yet, but I'm always very, very careful about these kind of things. Um, oh, oh, wait, wait, there is a bit of water right there. I better go ahead and tighten that more later. Um, now, you'll notice that this little guy right here, this, this beige uh, thing, it is connected from a fresh water supply, and then it goes all the way up into the toilet right there. This is what they provide for you. And then uh, it takes the water and takes it all along this tube right here, and then the tube goes all the way up to this little guy. And then when you turn it on, it releases the water down this tube into the little sprayer nozzle. Really, really awesome. Now, a few things to keep in mind. They do have the option to do hot water. Um, I'm just doing cold water because my hot water source is nowhere near my toilet. The sinks are, are way over there. Um, so it will be a cold, icy blast of water. If you could toughen that out, more power to you. But some people, it has to be lukewarm. Um, so keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that uh, not all toilets are the same. For me, I used all the included parts to put this thing together. You may have to actually run to the hardware store to get extra adapters and things like that. So don't be, don't be blown away if this kit doesn't have everything you absolutely need. For my generic American toilet, it worked 100%, used everything included in the kit, and uh, except for some plumber's tape, which I had on hand. And, uh, oh, it's kind of leaking right there. I'm going to go ahead and try to tighten that up, and I will update my review accordingly if it continues to leak or anything like that. But for now, it does work. Five out of five stars. Very awesome of these people to send me this to test and review and to give you a little thorough demonstration. And uh, let's see if I can tighten this a little more. All right, 
there. Oh, it, it does go just slightly. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more plumber's tape on that. Yeah, be very careful. Uh, make sure that, that you keep testing this thing throughout the day to make sure that you did it right. Yeah. My name is Bo Chef Stewart. I hope that you've enjoyed this small little demonstration of this little micro bidet here on Amazon.